hello everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to create a form in Microsoft Access using the form wizard and usually when you open up your Microsoft database it's going to be in the home tab so you go straight to where you have the create tab and click on the create tab all right and hover your mouse to where you have the forms initially I have created a form created a form using this particular button form but for this particular um, tutorial I'll be making use of the form wizard alright so I'll go ahead and create the difference with this two is that this just gives you the form but this particular one the form wizard gives you options on what type of form you have to create alright so I'll click on that form wizard Okay, here, remember, this is selected. That's why I have um, the available fields here. By the navigation pane here, I do have two tables. All right, so you can create a form from two from any of those tables. So this dialog box, which is the form wizard, comes out. So from this table slash queries, I can, you know, click on the down arrow and choose the table that I want to create my form from. So, all right, so I'm going to use that employees table that is there. Okay, so this employees table, available fields, these are all the fields in the employees table, all right. So, I want to work with all the fields, all right. This particular, the first button there, I would, I, I can click and select the fields, click, select, and click on that to move the fields that I want to appear in my um, form, but I want to work with all the fields here so i'll go ahead and just click on the second button here so that moves all my fields to selected fields once i'm happy with this i'll go ahead and click on the next button so like i initially said when you're working with the form wizard it gives you options on the kind of form you need to create now these are different kinds of forms you can create the comla by default it comes with the com columnar form, tabla, data sheet, and the justified. So from here, you can choose the kind of form that you want to create. So for this particular lesson, I will be working with the justified form. All right, so I just selected that part. I'll click on the next button. And um, here is the title. What title would you want the form to be? So it's either from this point, you can give it a title, all right or you can also give it a title in the navigation pane when you have finished creating your form so i can delete this or let it be and rename it letter so i'm gonna let this be and rena rename letter once i'm done creating my form so this is fine by me i'll go ahead and click on the finish button so okay so this comes at the let me show you where it is like I did show you initially, the form has different kinds of views. So here it has the form view. So it's in the form view. You can see there that is selected. And it also have the layout view. It has the design view. So the form view, this is my form view. So the layout view, let's go to the layout view because I want to mod make some modifications. So to do modifications, such as okay let me go to the layout view i'll click on that layout view so this is my layout view so from here i can change the title of this form all right so if i click there you see it's selected so i can probably call this employees employees form this is me modifying my form all right employees form all right so you can see how that is i want to further modify it so i'm gonna click on that and all right so you see what that what happens there so this is me modifying my form from all right so going to back to that section so i click there this is my form view from the layout view from the layout view you can modify your form all right so i can also click on that section and center align or left align my the title this is the title of this form so i'll click on that section now this is is in, in the home tab over my mouse to where i have test formatting so from this test formatting 
I can change the font type font type let me make it Algerian all right so you can see that title there I can further change the font size to something bigger or smaller let's call this 28 font size 28 so you'll see that is bigger there and I can go ahead and make it this is by default is it's by default align left so I want to make it center align so I'll click on that okay so this is center aligned by looking at this you'll see that it's been aligned um, center justified okay so this is this one is aligned right okay so this is how you can modify your form the next thing I like to show you is that you can apply different kinds of theme to your form to apply theme you need to click on that design all right click on the design and by the design I do have themes here this is my themes group and just at the top there the first button there I click on the down arrow these are different kinds of themes you will notice that why I scroll through the theme here which is the color changes so if I go to the first one and they all have names this is the office this particular one is face set and the theme color here is changing right so the other one the theme is changing and then the font also is changing I think this is gallery this is integra you could see that the font you see the theme all right the font changes and the color there also changes so you see that how it changes this is iron this one is iron boardroom so let's leave it at this particular one so this is what I want so this is a theme all right so you can format your form you can align the title you can click and change the title erase all of this and put the title that you want you can change the theme theme can also you can also apply different colors here these are also different kinds of theme that you may want to choose all right the font too here you can also choose and then it will change but this is my main focus here where you can you know choose the kind of this is organic right this here is retrospect so it all depends on the kind of theme that you want to work with all right so I've shown you how to modify to change the font size to center align all of this is done through your form your layout view all right from the layout view you can have this Done. so once I'm done with it I like what I see I will right click and click on the save button and then go ahead and click on the close all right so I've closed that um, my object which is the form is here now let's assume I don't want the title that is here I can rename this by right clicking and click on the rename and then probably give it another title there or add something to it form or call that employees form okay so that is it so you notice that that the object was closed the right is not showing the object window that's the only way I am able to rename this form